Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, click the subscribe button down below. The little bell next to that, if you click on that, that'll give you notification of when I upload new videos. Welcome back to all my returning friends. I'm so happy you guys are here. This is episode 20 of my Floss 2 portion here on my channel, Jody's Creative Corner. I talk about Everything that I love to do, crochet, knitting, baking, cooking, which that's been on the, the back burner here for a little bit. Um, but today's episode is all about cross stitch. I have a lot to share with you. We're wrapping up May. I had a patriotic May frenzy that uh, Stacy from Stacy's Creative Studios or Stacy's Stitches, I'll link her down below. She had a hashtag patriotic May frenzy. So I pulled out all of my patriotic pieces that I had started quite a few for the month and I worked on those all month. I have a couple of finishes that I'm going to share and then everything that I have worked on. And then I'll just talk at the little bit at the end about personal stuff because I haven't been doing any videos lately here on my channel. So let's dive into cross stitch. So my first one, I can't find my pattern um, to share with you, but it's a hands-on design pattern and this is Memorial Day. I started this last Jan January, last July. Um, it was my July 4th start and I wanted to have it done by Memorial Day this, day this year. So I pulled it out and I finished Memorial Day. I love it. It's just a 16 count Ada on there. So I love it. I loved stitching the flowers. I mean, those were so fun. And then I don't know if you can see it. Um, the little, the white stitches, those were, sm are they Smyrna's? I don't know, but those were fun. Anyways, it was just fun to stitch this and I'm happy to have it done. Now to get it framed and I can set it somewhere down around my um, hutch downstairs that I have for my patriotic pieces that I have displayed. But Memorial Day, my hands on design. Absolutely love that. And then my next finish is by the Twin Peak Primitives, Stand by the True. Started this on April 1st and I finished it May 21st. And I stitched it on, let me look at my notes here. Dove Gray Linen 32 count. This was second foray going into linen. Um, not as, it was always scary for me to do it, but it, I don't know why. Anyways, I loved it. I love this piece. It is so pretty and I have to iron it a little bit better. But that is Stand By The True. I added in the colors because this was all in blue. I just put in the red and the white for the red white, left the blue, changed the right to red. But it was so fun. That horse was so much fun in her skirt so fun. And then all the, the people on the trolley car absolutely love this piece. Got to get this framed. I'm hoping I can head out and pick up a frame and try to get a frame so I can bring it to StitchCon with me um, for display, for bragging, along with a few other pieces that I'm bringing. But if I can get it framed this weekend, then this will be ready to go for me when I leave to head for StitchCon. But that was my second FO for the month of May. Get all my things out of the way. Now we're, oops, now we're going to move on to whips and I have quite a few. So I'm gonna start with my non-patriotic pieces. One being my butterfly temperature chart for this year by the Stitching Mommy. And I'm doing mine all in shades of purple. So I've got my warmer shades, and then my cooler shades. So my cooler shades, I gotta stop and think. Cooler shades I'm doing uh, for the cooler temps and then the, the warmer color shades for the warmer shades. <laughs> and I have it in my purple bag that Wendy made for me, went back by Wendy. Wendy on Never Neverland for her floss tube. My notes are falling all down on me. Stay. But I've got five months completed. So 
finished up May on there. So you can see that the, the temperatures are starting to get into the, the darker, brighter colors, I guess is what I'm going to say for the, the warmer colors. Um, so they're more of the, the red purples, and then these are more of the blue purples. But anyways, so I've got five months done, and then I've got the next three months outlined. I'm going to start doing the ones down below because it's on a little bit of the page. I had just, just the tippy top of the butterflies to do, so I'm going to start working in those across as well. But I'll start doing that um, after I get back from StitchCon um, when I start working on this next week because um, I'll be in, I'll be leaving Wednesday to go to StitchCon. Won't be back till sometime Sunday. So usually Sundays is when I stitch on these for the week. So I'll probably have to do two weeks worth at one time, and then I'll just start um, outlining the the next four. But I love this, and I love seeing the darker colors. Um, I'm trying to think which one it is. Where was it up higher? I think the darker colors up at the top. We had some high 80s, close to 90 degrees here in May. We don't usually get that high in May here in Michigan, but I'll put that back in its cue snap when we're done. But that is my butterfly one. And then the next one I've got in my bunny bag. Let me take it out here so you can see the actual bunnies on here. That another bag that Wendy made for me. This is Easter Parade and I started this the beginning of the month. Let me look. Yes, the beginning of the month. So Easter Parade by Blackbird Designs. I'm doing the bunny here. <clears throat> I incorporated this into the, you gotta look at it, Traveling the USA Capitals um, for the Michigan Cross Stitch Group that Harmony is um, hosting. So we're traveling to state capitals through the month. For May, we went to Annapolis, Maryland, and I had 715 miles to get, to get there. So I've worked on this since I finished it, but this, got to stop and think where I was. I didn't have all of the, the, the flower in. I think I had a little bit of the outline in there. So that much up there was about 715 stitches. So then I've added in the rest, but I'm stitching this on 32 count Sandcastle by Jogolin fabric. And it's so pretty. And I held it up to my husband. I was trying to think how, what, how much I had done when I showed him. I don't remember what, what, <clears throat> how much was there. But anyways, I looked at words. Slow down. I asked him, I said, can you tell what it is? And he's looking at it. And he's looking at it. And he's looking at it. And he says, I have no idea. So then I showed him. He's like, that's kind of cool. But anyways, this is fun to stitch on. I love the shading of the fabric on there for the same cast. So I'm gonna see if I can find some more of that for future projects, but coming out nicely. And I'll just, I'll work on this, um, just kind of put it in through my rotation, even though it's an Easter thing, I'm gonna still work on it because I just think it's so pretty. I just continue to work on that, but love that one. But I made it to Annapolis, Maryland, and I had posted that on, oh, let's see, I, did, I put a post on Instagram, and then it transfers over to Facebook, and one of my friends says, I didn't know you were there, I was just there, and I said, no, 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 virtually made it to Annapolis, because that's for my, my stitching, so it was kind of fun. And now, the rest are all my patriotic pieces that I've worked on for May. Um, We'll just start with this one. This is America the Beautiful by Stitching with, with the Housewives. Started this one on May 21st. So I started a new start each Saturday for the month of May. So I started on this one. I am not stitching it on black. I am stitching it on 32 count Taupe Lugana by Wichelt. And I love it it is so pretty so so pretty i love the the font that they're using that is absolutely gorgeous but the, just the 
I don't know. It's just so pretty. So pretty. And I love it on the taupe. That's how far I've gotten on that since the 21st of May. So a lot of progress on that. But that'll be fun to, to finish. And I have a, a fun finishing way I'm going to FFO it. Um, so I have somebody did it on, posted it on Instagram and I'm like, oh, I like that. So I've saved the picture so I can um, credit the person who came up with the, the finishing idea, but I can't wait to display it that way. I've got fuzzies all over me. Next up, I have Lincoln's Eagle by Teresa Kogut. And I have Half Done. So I've got that Half Done on there. And then some, because I've been working on that. Move my grime guard. So that's how far I'm on that. This is stitched on a 20 count country mocha. So, and I changed the, the color that they had for the eagle's wings, the white color here was a drab brown, very light, so a 613 of DMC and I wanted it to be more white. So I am using, let me look, let me look, let me look. I think I'm using whitewash. Yeah, I'm using Weeks Dye Works whitewash on there. And I just love how it pops off that. I was getting very tired and bored of stitching just the solid color for the border in there because it was just, I like changing up colors. I know it just keeps it more interesting. So that was taking a long time to do. And I, I am dreading the rest of it on this side and then the border on there. But back to stitching the ego. He is fun to stitch. And yeah. And I am probably going to use the display uh, FFO that she had at StitchCon last year in the annex, um, posting it on a, or, yeah, posting it on a book. So. I have to find a book that I want to put it on, but love that one. I'm going to put my grime guard back on. We'll do that later. And my next one is Michigan by, do you say Heinzit? H-I-N-Z-E-I-T for the flag state. So uh, there. I started that this past Saturday, right? Yeah, the 28th of May. So I got that far on it, the M, the I, and then just starting to work on the border right there. And this is just on a the la, 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 32 count Jobelin white. So just, just a plain white fabric. So that's how far I got on that one. I think I might flip all of these. Two more, two more whips. This next one is a Twin Peak Primitives. Lady Liberty, and I'm doing it on 32 count Lamb's Wool Jobelin, and I'm using all the DMC called for floss um, on there. And I know that Pam from Just Keep Stitching is doing a sale starting July 1st, but I started mine already because I wanted to start it for, for May for the Patriotic May Frenzy. So I'll be working on this probably through July or not. Maybe I'll finish it. I'm not sure, but this is where I'm at right now. And this is the one that I'm working on today. So let me poke my thread through so the needle's on the other side. There we go. That's how far I am on that. And I started this on May 1st. So this is my, my first one for May. She is so cool. But that'll be fun to work on. And then my last whip is from the Needle Heart. Needle Heart? 
from the needle heart needle art by wendy freedom quick freedom quaker this one i started on the 14th of may and i will have a stitch con finish so i can ring the bell because i have just a few stitches left to put in that but that is where i'm at on that Let's see, move my needle down out of the way. So I've got that in there. I'm really liking Quakers. This was a fun one to stitch. So what all I have to do in here, there's a couple of blue flowers that are gonna go right in here. And then there's a blue that goes, a little blue motif that goes right in there. And that's what I'll finish up at StitchCon. So cool. I love the eagle sitting on the tree with the flag in its mouth. And there. But this has been fun to stitch too. So that's going to go in my bag down yonder there. That's for my StitchCon stuff so I can have a finish at StitchCon. And then my needle minder. It's just a daisy. It was a button. I just pulled the button backing off and put some magnets on it. So, so that one I'm going to leave up here because that's going to go in my stitch con bag. So those are my whips. Um, the only new start that I'm going to be having that I know of as of right now for um, June, because I'm going to start it at stitch con, is Daisy May stitching with the housewives. I am changing up the dress color. But you can't tell what color I'm going to do. And then the color of the bunny itself, I'm going to change that up. And the fabric that I'm using, do I have the name on it? I bet I don't have the name on it. I'll have to link it down below. But I'm using this. I think it's going to go this way. Or maybe this way. I have to stop and play around with it. But I had them cut it to the size that I need. And I will either have it run across the screen down here with the name of it or have it linked down below because I've got it saved on my phone and I'm filming. But that's the fabric that I'm using. I know it's a 32 count. I don't remember what it is in there, but the colors that I'm going to be doing So for the dress color, I'm going to use Peoria Purple. Could you tell? And then, let's see, so these are the all the called for, right? Let me look. Let me look at the list of colors. I make sure. Okay, yeah. So these are the, the call, they're called for colors in there. Um, bamboo, I've got. In my kit I gotta pull out but have those and then the color that I'm gonna do for the bunny because I didn't want a I thought I want to say the bunny's black coffee and I didn't want a black bunny rabbit so I'm using brown hen for my bunny So I've got to get a picture of that for my new start post that I can post on Instagram. And then I got to wind my floss because I am a bobbinator for my flosses. But that'll get worked, kitted up, or not kitted up, get ready to go um, for me at StitchCon. But that's going to be my start at StitchCon. And that is everything there. My plans for the month of June, StitchCon, of course. Um, kicking off later tonight because um, this video is going to go up on Saturday so later tonight Wendy will be here from Oregon and we've got plans leading up to leaving to head to Stitch kind of on Wednesday even though I have to work Monday and Tuesday um, we've got some plans that we're doing over the weekend and then she's gonna go do some touring around Grand Rapids um, while she's here while I'm working and then we are gonna head to StitchCon on Wednesday. I'm so excited and then I get to meet up with Wendy and all my friends that I've met at StitchCon last year, new friends that I'm hoping to meet and yeah, so I'm excited for the upcoming 
this next week and then just working on all of my whips. I want to try to get more of my patriotic pieces done so I can start pulling out um, my other whips that I have waiting in the wings. One of them I'm going to show you, but I'll be right back. Hold on one second, please. Okay, I'm back. So the piece that I want to get pulled out to work on again is by Stony Creek Soul Anchor. So I can work on this because I have my office back. My youngest moved back out. So he's back out on his own. We're back to being empty nesters. I have my office back, which is a beach themed office. So I've got all my beachy stitches that I want to do, but I'm going to pull this one back out and work on it. <laughs> I just have it shoved into bag. So it's real wrinkly. I only have just a little bit done part of the wrinkles. So I got that first block done started on this one. So I'm working on this one right now. So I want to get that done so I can get that hung up in my office, but I will wait to pull that out as long as I finish one more of my patriotic pieces. I know that this one is going to be a finish, but in taking its place into its rotation is the Daisy May one that I'll be starting at stitch count. So got to finish up one more of my patriotic pieces and then I'm going to pull this out. But that is everything there. So that is everything for my floss tube for this video. So if you stick around for this, I'm so happy you stayed. The rest of it is going to be kind of like a finished personal recap of things that have been going on for the last month because I haven't really did any videos on my channel here. So for that, like I said, my youngest moved out. So we're back to empty nesters. My office is no longer in my craft room here, which I am so thankful now I can come on here and actually work on my stuff when I want to and not have to see my work computer that is was right over here or it's up over in this area because that's kind of pointing to the back of me. So anyways, my work computer is no longer in my craft room. That makes me so happy. I miss having turn around. Not that we had we saw all that much when, with his work schedule and our work schedule, but anywho. So that is that with La, la, la. that's what's what going on there he moved up this last weekend um kind of just a little not working or not filming the last couple of weeks just kind of been in a in a mood and then also kind of trying to prepare myself because we i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to be doing any of future recordings for here for my channel outside of my floss tube because i can do those on a, a weeknight so i can get them up on a saturday but Starting Monday, I am going full time. I have a promotion at work, so I'm kicking, kicking into gear and getting myself psyched up going full time. So that's going to help out um, just from some things in the back background here, um, and with rising cost of everything that's going up, especially now that gas prices are not at four ninety nine here in Michigan. That just hurts the pocketbook. So so much especially with John's truck um, I've been letting him drive my car more often than not um, to save on on costs for fuel because filling up the truck tank hurts <laughs> hurts a lot and I miss the days of gas in the two dollar range Dollar seventy five, dollar seventy nine. What did we get down to just a couple years ago? I miss those days. High prices of everything else, so I'm going full time. So that'll help on the pocketbook there, but also as much as I've loved having my Thursdays and Fridays off and having my long weekend, I'm starting to get bored, I guess, if you will, just kind of sitting around at home, whether, you know, I've got my crafts that I can do, but there's sometimes it's like, I just don't want to do that. And then I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I'm bored. I have nobody to talk to just hanging out here. So I'm like, okay, we'll do this. And then the, with the promotion that came up and the spot that opened up, I took it. So starting Monday, I'll be full time. So I got to figure out how I'm going to be filming. So there's probably not going to be a lot of car chat videos unless I do anything on the weekends, which would be kind of hard because I usually do stuff with John um, out on the weekends. But we'll see how it goes and where I can pop in a video here and there. And yeah, hopefully I can get back to doing some Tasty Tuesdays too. Um, I miss doing those if I try to get 
trying to think if I'm gonna make a dessert this weekend that we can have. I can try to get it for Tuesday, but I'm not not promising anything because baking and cooking have kind of fallen back in the wayside for me as well, too. I gotta get back into loving what I'm doing, I guess. I just like I just don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like cooking half the time. A lot of times we've been just ordering takeout because I just haven't felt like cooking. Just trying to get myself back into that. But anyways, that's everything I have. I hope you guys st stuck around for all of it. I hope you loved all the crusted stuff that I shared. Um, and I can't wait to share with you the week that's coming up that I'm going to spend time with Wendy and then meeting up with Linda and all of my Stitchy friends at StitchCon in Ohio. So until next time, remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.